Hello history fans and welcome back to the Historical Baking Show. Now recently I found this website that um, a link to Google Books which has loads of historical cookbooks which is really cool and I'll link it in the description because I'm assuming if you're watching this you'll be interested in that. So this baking show is about to hit a whole new level of cool. Now today I really fancied some chocolate biscuits or cookies and as luck would have it there's a recipe from a book published in 1812 called The Professed Cook. But if I know anything about baking from watching The Great British Bake Off it's that when you have to whip eggs like this for 10 minutes that's more of a meringue than a biscuit but it's still a historical baking recipe so it's okay. Should we test that I've done it right? A little bit went on the floor but most of it's stiff we're all good <laughs> oh, no. so the recipe from 1812 I've been trying to read this to you for quite a few takes and I just can't get it because it's you know like the phrasing in old English or old American I just anyway it says pound a quarter of a pound of chocolate and mix it with four yolks of eggs and half a pound of fine powdered sugar add eight whites beat up and a quarter of a pound of flour pour them upon the paper with a spoon of what length or bigness you please finally so uh we're using in like nowadays measurements it's four ounces of chocolate eight eggs and eight ounces of icing sugar and you bake it for 12 minutes so let's get going this style of biscuit does come up quite a lot in the 18th and 19th century but there is a recipe from 1691 in a french cookbook called the court and country cook yeah that's right that recipe was translated into english in 1702 and it goes like this scrape some chocolate upon the white of an egg but not too much because it is only requisite to give it the taste and color of the chocolate then take powder sugar and mingle it well with the rest of the ingredients till they become a pliable paste. Afterwards, dress your biscuits upon sheets of paper in any figure that you shall think fit and set them into the oven to be baked with a gentle fire as well on top as underneath. Sounds like meringues to me. Now, the Romans had a type of biscuit which was essentially, oh, their bread just rebaked again. Um, that was eaten as a biscuit and also given in their soldiers rations which is similar to the earliest surviving biscuit we actually have which is from 1784 and it's a ship's biscuit which is the biscuits that sailors were given on their long voyages as part of their rations and it's no wonder those soldiers starved a lot of the time because they are known for being inedible and if it's survived that long then clearly it is but they were made to last the long sea journey so they kind of had to be quite sturdy but sometimes the sailors didn't eat them and they actually used them as postcards, which is quite funny. In the 14th century, we have the English word biscuit appears and then recipes start changing. So we have both savory and sweet biscuits and they start to become a bit more common as well. Now I'm gonna add in the egg whites to the chocolate, icing sugar and egg yolks. But I think I'm gonna, you need to like very carefully fold this bit in because you've just spent so much time whisking all that air into it that if you then just mix this bit you're going to lose all the puffiness so very carefully fold in your egg whites get me on the bake off honestly don't i would lose and then i'd cry now the first chocolate biscuit is arguably from 1891 when the Cadbury brothers filed for a patent for a chocolate coated biscuit. And I say arguably because really chocolate biscuits existed long before then. So I don't really think we can give Cadbury's the credit for that. They might say differently though. We no longer have stiff peaks and I will not be putting that over my head. I don't know what I've done wrong, but never mind. It might still taste good. And maybe they're supposed to look like this. I don't think they are. Let's blame the heat wave. We'll blame the heat wave. Okay, so it's like cake batter and it wasn't staying upright. So this trial one, 
obviously just went flat and didn't hold which is really sad because those egg whites were very difficult to whisk up um so that was an epic fail and they've been in the freezer for a bit and i'm just going to cook them in cases because it's kind of right like it's crispy on, around and then soft in the middle but it's just very flat we'll see even though this one's really flat and a fail it does taste good so i have high hopes for the others they're still really hot so they may fall apart i mean they're more cakes than biscuits but that's okay it looks cooked it looks like a cake Tastes good, just like a chocolate cakey macaroni thing. That's fine. That's quite nice. Yeah. Considering I thought it was going to be an epic fail, it wasn't too much of a fail. There we go. Um, if you make it, whip your egg whites a lot more than I did. I got bored and stopped. Well, thanks for watching. If you watched this far, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what other recipes I should attempt from any of those books or any recipes you've seen or any like baking history eras you want to hear about let me know and we'll do them don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you next week bye